Hello my beauties and welcome to the channel Skincare with Asikia Iyala. Of course, I'm your girl Asikia Iyala. Today guys, I am back with another exciting video and in this video, I'll be talking about your step to better skincare in 2019. Honestly speaking guys, this video will teach you a lot when it comes to what you take inside and what you apply on your skin. So do not leave till the end of this video because there is so much more that I'll be talking about. Now let's begin with what we put inside our body. Believe it or not, your skin is the mirror to what goes inside your body and it is very important that we take care of our body and I'm gonna start off with detoxifying. It is very important that we detoxify our body at least four times in a year. Well that depends on how healthy you eat. If you're the type that practices intimate fasting every day then you don't have to worry when it comes to detoxifying because your body will automatically remove every toxins and waste but if you're the time that eats carelessly then I would suggest you to detox at least three to four times in a year now the second one is sweating sweating is actually very good for you guys because this is one of the, the important way we get our toxins from our body it doesn't matter if you want to go to the gym or not as long as you're engaged in activities that will make you sweat even if it's going to the sauna I would suggest you from the habit of going to sauna or going to the spa or just take a walk anything that you do that would make you sweat 2019 should be the year for that because it will help your pores it will help you unclock all those um, issues we have on our skin because our, our skin needs to breathe and if you don't allow your skin to breathe by applying stuff on it without sweating them out obviously you won't be having a very nice looking skin so sweating is really important washing your face at least twice in a day if i don't go above twice in a day guys because then you'll be doing something really bad now usually what i do is i do my deep cleansing or double cleansing at night and in the morning when i wake up i don't want to go into cleaning my face like deep cleansing all i do is i get my um milk based cleanser which is not a foaming cleanser in the morning because at night i have done my deep cleansing and obviously i wasn't wearing makeup i'm in bed and then when i wake up in the morning all i just want to do is to get any residue of oil on my skin so you don't want to um, go overboard when it comes to cleaning of your skin at the same time you want to clean your skin and you obviously want to use the right product at the right time now the next one is monitor your dairy intake if you have acne now people who do have acne prone skin obviously one way or the other they are doing something that is not working really well for them internally and dairy products are known to block your pores guys i like to monitor my skin i like to take close look at my skin if you have acne obviously you should I would say you should um, really monitor how your skin reacts to the kind of food you eat most especially when you eat dairies and dairies are milk cheese uh, what else do we have I'm gonna be listing them on my screen so you can see and try to avoid eating this kind of food or I would say limit the way you eat them don't even try to eat them at night because at night is the worst time they will not digest and then you boom go to bed that's the that's not going to be healthy for you so moving on to the next one is to improve the quality of our air yes guys this is really important the air we breathe in is very important and it plays a very huge role on our skin believe it or not now I love plants and I have plants natural plants here and there in my house I do have artificial plants as well but the good thing about having our natural plants is because we humans we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide and what a natural plant does is to breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen so the natural plants actually do help us to filter the air in our house so you might want to consider buying 
a real plant in your house in 2019. Yes, uh, one other thing is getting a humidifier. Now, if you're living in a very dry climate, right now we're going through it is really dry and it can dry up your skin. So a humidifier will help bring moisture into your room. The inbuilt heating system doesn't really help at all. I love the fireplace, but I do not want to sit next to the fireplace because it dries me up. So having a humidifier helps me a lot to retain moisture in my home. So let's move on to the next one, which is drinking enough leafy greens yes guys this is really important and that includes uh, masha green tea spirulina moringa leaf all the leafy green that you can lay your hand upon i would suggest you start to drink them like never before because this will help you they are packed with antioxidants they can take away inflammation they can help you clean your system and all that bad stuff leafy greens will help us a lot so i would want you to cultivate that habit of drinking enough tea uh, in a day you should be drinking enough like enough like really enough guys I do that a lot and I enjoy it I'm actually gonna make a video on my morning routine my rituals that I do every morning and it's amazing how you feel when you do this it will make you go use the loo it will just clean your system in general which is actually good Steam away impurity guys steaming of the body is very important it is really important i talked about uh going to a sauna that is one way to steam your body and um, you can steam your face if you don't have a steamer in your house i would suggest you get a, a bowl boil hot water pour it in that bowl uh, put a little bit of lemon or lime and you can also put a rose petal in it or maybe a little bit of salt inside that uh, water and use a towel around your head cover yourself bend your head in there for about 10 minutes that will help you steam your face clean your pores and it is really important if you have problematic skin i would suggest you doing this like every other days or every day depending on how trouble your skin is you might uh, want to start doing it like every day and then you reduce to every other days and then you reduce it to at least three times in a week but if you have a very good skin that is not giving you so much problem i would suggest you steam your face at least once in a week then if you can go to a sauna once every month, ah, gosh, you would love it. You would love how you feel. All the toxins will go out of your body. You want to sweat, guys. That's, that's the goal. Sweating out, bringing those dirt in our pores so our skin can breathe and be alive again. So it is very important to steam your way in 2019. So the next one is to massage the face. Mm. Our face has 57 muscles, yes. And when we don't work that muscles, we just sit there and do nothing. So it is always best to massage your face to get a very good blood flow. I talked about that in one of my videos when I talk about um, when I talked about my devices. Massaging of the face is very important. It's like when you don't exercise your body your muscles will not be toned they will not you will not see any kind of toneness in your body but as soon as you start hitting the gym your body starts to shape itself it's the same thing when it comes to our face our face needs massage when you start to massage you see your cheekbones they start to come out look guys this is a painless <laughs> facelift you can ever get in fact non-expensive facelift you can ever get that you can give yourself so massaging of the face is very important you can either massage uh, your face with your hands if you know the tactics if you don't know the tactics you can buy um, the massaging too they are everywhere on Amazon Aliexpress you can buy them and use them they are really really nice they will give you a natural face lift your blood will flow naturally those muscles will start training themselves and giving your face a beautiful shape so massaging of the face is important and i want you to cultivate that habit in 2019. so the next one is to use a face mask mm, damn <laughs> i love to use face masks and i don't mind using face masks at least 
three times to four times in a week yes it all depends on the kind of face mask you want to use because some face masks helps to take out toxins some help to uh, hydrate the skin some help to fade out uh, uh, what is it called fine lines wrinkles and any kind of spots you have on your face some help to cure acne there are different kinds of face masks in the markets guys so all you need to do is to identify what kind of face masks you want to use and it's not a problem to use a face mask every day as long as you're not using one particular face mask every day now for example if you're using a face mask that takes out excess oil and you're using it every day that's not a good thing to do it's going to dry you off it's going to strip you off of your natural oils so get different kinds of uh, face masks you can use a facial mask for hydration today and then tomorrow you're using uh, facial mask to take out excess oil or you're using the next day uh, a facial mask that will reduce fine lines and wrinkles on your face or you're using a facial mask that will remove spots, blemishes on your face. So it doesn't matter if you use uh, a facial mask every day or every other days. What matters or what's important is to use the right facial marks at the right time over cleansing yes i talked about cleaning twice in a day and over cleansing of the skin is not a good thing guys even if you're gonna clean your face twice in a day you want to know the right product to use at what time like i said i use two different kinds of cleanser at night i want to use my foaming cleanser and in the morning i want to use my milk based cleanser so that will actually just remove any residue on my skin so over cleansing of the face is not good at all finding the right product for your skin type this is also very important for us to understand now the first thing you want to do is to know your skin type and I would suggest you checking your skin type at least three times in a year because our skin type changes yes our skin type changes because sometimes uh, the environment sometimes because of our age sometimes because of the season so we need to check and know what our skin type is every three times in a year now, when you want to buy a product, the first thing you want to do is to check the active ingredients. That's the first thing you want to do because there are some uh, ingredients that are packed with chemicals. We don't want that on our skin, believe it or not. 70% of what you apply on your skin actually goes into your body. Yes, your skin do absorb 70% of what you apply on your skin. So you want to be very careful when it comes to picking the right products. Check the active ingredient, guys, then give it a try. If it works really well for you, then you can keep the product. So that brings us to the next one, which is be gentle to your skin. Guys, this is really important for us to know that our skin needs to be pampered, not just our face. We need to take care of ourselves in a gentle manner. Don't do anything excess. Anything you're doing in excess will result to more problems for you. If you're using uh, a sugar scrub that is meant to be used once in a week and you're using it every day or every other days, that's not so good for you because you are actually stretching your skin, you are actually stripping your good oils from your body, so you don't want to do that. In, even if it's a towel we want to use on our body, we need to pet dry. We need to pet dry, not go you know with <laughs> with force and all that no you don't want to do that so you want to be gentle whatever you want to do just try and consider that this is your skin and you need to take care of your skin so that brings us to the next one which is avoid hot water yes guys hot water is a killer when it comes to our skin you want to really really stay away from hot water now we are in the winter month and it's super cold i understand most people would say oh well the weather is too cold i can't uh, take my bath with uh, lukewarm water well i personally what i do is i try to make my room really warm before i go take my bath and obviously i want to take my bath with lukewarm water and i don't want to spend so much time in the shower at least less than 10 minutes 
and once I'm out, I feel really comfortable and okay because my room is warm enough for my body to handle. So yeah, that's that's just the best thing to do. Just try and stay away from hot water. I don't care what you want to do, but when it comes to hot water, even if it's summer, you just want to stay away from it. To eat fresh food. Yes, guys, processed food are not so good for our health. They are causing us <laughs> more harm than good. And most of us, we still do not understand this, that we need to stay away from processed food. If you're eating fresh food, uh, like fruits and vegetables, these are really okay and they will help your skin go a long way. Please, guys, stay away from processed food, all the canned food, food that will be preserved for years and years. They are not so good for us. They stick in the wall of our intestines and they are very difficult to digest. So you want to stay away from processed food and focus more on the healthy, fresh fruits and vegetables on a daily basis. But it's all about balanced diets. You want to eat the right amount of food at the right time and you want to get your protein, you want to get your carbs, you want to get your good fat all together in one day. So that's the reason why I suggest people should use our supplements to help balance their intake in a day. Avoid alcohol toners and products. Any product that contains alcohol, they are also killers. This one, this will destroy your skin, guys. Like the moment I learned to stay away from alcohol-based products, I could see my skin changing, like it changed drastically. So what alcohol does is to dry up your skin your skin will not look supple, your skin will not bounce, your skin will not look really nice, it will not glow. No matter how expensive that product is, as long as it is alcohol-based product, you don't want to use it on your skin. So that brings us to the next one, which is forget the powder. Yes, guys, <laughs> you would do more good than harm when you reduce the amount of time you allow those powder to sit on your skin. I love makeup, I always say that, and most of, in most of my videos you'll see me wearing makeup. I love makeup, but at the same time, I try as much as I can to stay without makeup than the hours I apply makeup on my face. Whatever I want to do, if I have to do whatever I want to do, and I have to wear my makeup, obviously, as soon as I'm done, if it's going out or whatever, I want to take out my makeup. I want to take them out, all out. Like, I want to be sitting at home with no makeup on so I can allow my skin to breathe. So at the age of 30, if you're still going to bed with makeup on your skin, you are actually on the wrong track. You would age prematurely. It's, it's, it's not a good thing to do. You will start to develop acne, it causes dirtiness, it will clog your pores. Honestly, guys, just try as much as you can to stay away from makeup. And even if you have to use makeup, you try, just try and get a good water-based makeup. Yes, that will, that will go a long way for you than um, using the oil-based makeup. Okay, guys? To drink enough water. Mmm, damn. I love this one. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know why would why would people how how would people survive without drinking water? Like, are you kidding me? It's, it's a lifestyle you have to try. Some people would say, "Oh, I don't like to drink water; it's tasteless," and all the complaint. Why do people find it difficult to drink water? Like, that's <laughs> that's really unbelievable. Drinking enough water will help you digest whatever it's in your intestine. And when your body starts to digest those food you eat, it's very good for your healing powers to start to take place and heal your body. If your healing power is busy digesting the food you eat on a daily basis, you have no time for your healing powers to heal you. That's the reason why people have problems like psoriasis, uh, eczema, acne, and all of that stuff. 
So you need enough water. I love to drink water. I have here a bottle of water that I'm drinking right now and I can go on and on and on with that. And I don't find it difficult. There, is, there shouldn't be any excuses to drink water, guys. Now, I have a way or a trick of drinking eight or more glasses of water in a day. So what I usually do is when I wake up in the morning, I want to drink at least one glass of water. 30 minutes before I eat my meal, I want to drink one glass of water. And this helps me to minimize the quantity of food that I'll be eating uh, for my breakfast. And then after my meal, I want to drink a glass of water. And in between uh, breakfast and lunch, I have my bottle of water that I'll be sipping every now and then. And then 30 minutes before you eat lunch, you want to drink uh, one glass of water. After you eat your lunch, you want to drink one glass of water. And in between lunch and dinner, you want to sip, 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 sip from your uh, bottle of water. You want to drink your green tea whatever kind of liquid you have but please make sure that your liquid should be healthy for you now um, before my dinner I want to drink a glass of water after my dinner I want to drink a glass and then before I go to bed I want to sip 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 on my green tea or my greenies and any healthy liquid that I can drink I would just sip 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 all my way through uh, before I go to bed I want to drink a glass again and by my bedside I have a glass and also in my bathroom I have a bottle and whenever I wake up in between the night hour and I want to ease myself I would be drinking a glass of water again so when you so when you count these uh, glasses of water that you have been drinking, it will be eight or more glasses in a day. So that's, that's one thing, one habit you need to form, guys. There shouldn't be any excuses not to drink water. No, try as much as you can. If you can even drink one liter of water in a day, that's going to be excellent. Don't make that face. Mm. <laughs> Oh my god, some people they love to frown, they love to frown their face, they like to make facial expression. It is not good at all because you're going to discover wrinkles in no time. So try as much as you can if you're the type that makes facial expression. Just uh, if you start taking notes of when you're making a uh, facial expression, uh, it will help you minimize the time you use in making facial expressions. So um just try as, as much as you can to keep yourself happy. Do the things that will make you laugh, smile, to help also reduce stress because stress can also affect our health and also our skin. If your health is not good, obviously your skin will suffer for it. Trust me, guys. Getting enough sleep. You have to get enough sleep, guys. Eight hours, you have to get it. I don't care what time you want to go to bed. If it's 2 a.m., 3 a.m., make sure you sleep in and get your complete eight hours but the golden hours are very important which is from 11 p.m to 2 a.m it is very important you sleep at that time but if you have to go out partying or something then try as much as you can to get your eight hours sleep now the next one is to supplement your skincare mm. <laughs> I love this one because I am so much into taking supplements. I love to take supplements and I would advise any woman who is above 30 to start taking supplements. They are really important, guys. Do not neglect the fact that you need to take supplements. And it shouldn't be a secret. It shouldn't be a secret. Our body needs some certain supplements. I have a bunch of supplements, but I would say there are four supplements you don't want to miss in your life. The first one is collagen, the second one is hyaluronic acid, the third one is omega-369 fatty acid, and also vitamin C. These are the four major supplements that your body needs because when we are born, we are born with collagen in our system, we are born with hyaluronic acid in our system, but as we start to grow old, we start to, they start 
start to depreciate. So we need the support from all of these supplements to help us stay in track, to help us reduce the signs of aging, to help us stay healthy and so, so many good things that comes with it. So supplementing your way is just the best thing to do. Please guys, 2019, from the habit of taking supplements, it will go a long way. Now let's talk about exfoliating. Ooh, I love this topic. When it comes to exfoliating, it is very important because uh, we humans, we shed uh, skin cells between 10 to 30 days. So that depends on your age, that depends on your environment, that depends on how healthy you eat. If you're eating healthy, obviously your skin cells will regenerate really fast. If you're not, then you won't be getting all that effect. But exfoliating of the skin is really important. We want to get out every dead skin cells. Some of you might say, oh my God, I'm using the same product as my sister or my neighbor or my friend. And I've been seeing so many good reviews about this uh, product, but it's not working well for me. Obviously, there is something you are doing that is making that product not work very well for you. Maybe it's about your intake or you are not exfoliating your skin. You can't have dead skin cells on your skin and you expect what you apply on your skin to work really well. Believe it or not, our skin absorbs 70% of what we apply on our skin. Now, if you're not eating right and your skin cell is not as healthy as it should be, it will not absorb that 70%. It might absorb 20% or even less than 20%. So you want to keep track, you want to be in the right path to be able to achieve that 70% of what you apply on your skin. So exfoliating helps the skin cells to renew itself really fast. And there are different kinds of exfoliants. You can do the dry brush. Now the dry brush is what you do uh, before you take your shower. I'll be leaving a picture on my screen so you will see what it is all about. And uh, we have the chemical exfoliant. I love to do the chemical exfoliant at least once every month. This is a process where your skin cells start to shed itself. When you apply stuff like retinol, it will help um, shed out the dead skin cells on your skin. In fact, it will help shed the top layer of your skin. So that's like a deep uh, exfoliant. Now we have the physical exfoliant, which is the usual scrub that we have that we can use um, either every day, every other days, once in a week, once in a month, depending on the product you buy. Every physical exfoliant has its own instruction on how to use it. That depends on the kind of exfoliant that has been used. Uh, we have exfoliant like sugar, we have the whole over beads, we have the African sea, there are so so many physical exfoliants. But whatever products you buy, just read the instructions and follow what the manufacturer says. That brings us to the next one, which is double cleansing. Oh my god, guys, like we all in 2019 need to cultivate the habit of double cleansing. Double cleansing changed my life. It changed my skincare game. I would tell you this. And you don't have to be scared if you have oily skin. I have oily skin and I'm not scared to do the double cleansing. Now, some of you might ask, what's a double cleansing? Uh, the double cleansing is when you do the oil-based cleanser and also the water-based cleanser. Now, what the oil-based cleanser does is to break down the oil on your skin take away all the residue you have uh, on your skin before you go in and do the water-based cleanser, which is actually amazing. Now you may want to know what kind of oil you want to use on your skin if you have to do it yourself. Um, I make my own uh, cleanser, my oil cleanser by myself and I know what works for me because I have oily skin. So my focus is on the natural oils oils that are dry, oils like grapeseed oil, jojoba, uh, jojoba oil, ham seed oil, olive oil. These are dry oils that you can use on your skin. Now, if you don't have oily skin, you can also use uh, what I just mentioned, including coconut oil. You can use that on your skin if you have dry skin or combination skin or any skin type apart from oily skin type. I will not advise any acne prone skin 
to use the coconut oil because that might break you out if you have oily skin focus more on the dry oils that I just mentioned so double cleansing is really important it is very nice it will help you go a long way so guys these are the steps that I want to talk about here today I know there are so many things we need to do we need to put more effort well I'm not gonna call it um, too much work it's just a habit if you can form the habit of taking care of yourself if you can form the habit of awareness like knowing what is right for you what's working for your skin how is your skin reacting to some certain uh, product you apply on your skin this will help you a lot so if you really want to achieve um, a better looking skin in 2019 these are the steps you need to take and there are so many other steps that I'll be talking about before the end of this year. We will go through them one after the other. That's all for this video guys. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, what the hell are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video if you like the content in this video. You can share it with your friends and family so that they can also benefit from my teaching. And um, yeah, you can follow me on Facebook, you can follow me on Instagram, and I'll be leaving the name of my Instagram on my screen. If it doesn't feed you, do not water it. Bye for now, guys, and stay blessed. I love you.